Two weeks ago in the summer transfer window, Tilo Keller is on the verge of joining West Ham United. I'd still like to see a left back, a centre midfielder, a creative player as well. But today's video isn't about what I'd like to see or what you'd like to see. This video is about what we could see, just how many spaces are still up for grabs in David Moyes' squad. Because once the summer transfer window is closed, David Moyes must register a 25-man squad with the Premier League in keeping with the regulations. But there's a twist because the European squad that Moyes has to register is slightly different to what the Premier League demands. So we're going to be taking a look at the squad and if they're in keeping with both of those, as well as how many spaces there still is vacant in the 25-man squad. How many players could David Moyes essentially bring in? Now, of course, we could sell some players. We don't have to register all the players at the club. We still got to pay their wages. We just don't have to register them and therefore can't use them. So at the start of the window, we took a look at the squad. We looked at the player profiles, their ages, their contract situations. The likes of Jarm Lankos included in that video. That was the squad coming into the transfer window. Today, we're going to take a look at the squad coming out of the transfer window to give you a little bit of a better idea of what we could maybe expect at West Ham in the last two weeks of the summer transfer window. Now we're going to kick it off with a couple of rules and a little bit of housekeeping before we get into the video. So first of all, West Ham United must have eight homegrown players in their 25-man squad registered with the Premier League. A homegrown player is somebody that has spent three years between the ages of 15 and 21 at an English FA club. Now, they don't necessarily have to be English. The most famous example I can give you is probably Gail Clichy when he came through Arsenal's academy. He was French, but yet he was considered a homegrown player because of where he trained. Also, it doesn't include British players automatically. Robert Snodgrass was, again, somebody that people perceived as homegrown, but he wasn't actually because he's, all his training as a youngster was up in Scotland. So we need eight of those. If we are missing one, if we only have seven, it means we're only allowed to register 24 players. For every homegrown player you're missing, you deduct a space that you can actually register with the Premier League. Also, under 21s don't have to be registered, but they can still participate in the competition. So for West Ham, the likes of Harrison Ashby, Yamal Baptiste, Callum Marshall, Armstrong Oculflex, they will not be registered in David Moyes' 25-man squad for the Premier League, but Moyes can still call upon them if they wish. Now for a little bit of housekeeping. There's a few players that Moyes will have to register if he wishes to use them. There's just a debate among the fan base as to whether they will actually be used or not, or whether they might get loaned out or sold between now and the transfer window. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to run through the squad and only mention the players that Moyes will register. And then the handful of players that Moyes may register, we'll discuss them after we've done the strike house. And then, to make it even more complicated, we'll have a little look at the European squad. Because their rules are not quite as straightforward as what I've just mentioned in regards to the Premier League. Taking a look at the goalkeepers, we have three senior players here. Lucas Fabianski, Alphonse Ariola, and Darren Randolph that will all need to be registered. And Randolph counts as homegrown, so that's one of the eight. Now taking a look at the defenders in regards to fullbacks, we've got Ben Johnson, Vladimir Supal, and Aaron Creswell, with two of those being homegrown. At centre back, we've got Kurt Zuma, Craig Dawson, also homegrown. Angela Ogbonna and Nia Figuer. Now, this is the interesting thing in regards to Aguero, because a lot of reports are that he's out until after the World Cup. So in theory, West Ham wishes to free up a space. They could just not register Aguero in the Premier League. Then come this January transfer window, you can make unlimited changes to your Premier League squad. They'll then be able to register Aguero then. But of course, somebody would then have to drop out of the 25-man squad. But for the sake of the video and keeping it simple, we're going to include him. So that gives us seven defenders with three being homegrown. Now moving into midfield, we've got Flynn Downs, Declan Rice, Thomas Suchek and Manuel Lanzini with two of those being homegrown. Then as the forwards, we've got Jared Bowen, Maxwell Cornet, Pablo Fernal, Saeed Benrama, Gianluca Scamacca and Mikel Antonio with Jared and Mikel also being homegrown as well. So that gives David Moyes 20 senior players, but if West Ham signed Tilo Kerr as expected, bump that up to 21. However... That also includes eight homegrown players. So as it stands, West Ham are meeting the demands of the Premier League for their 25-man squad with four vacancies. Happy days. However, we need to consider three players. Nathan Trott, Emmanuel Langello, and Connor Coventry. The reason being, if David Moyes wishes to call upon any of those three players after the summer transfer window, they need to be 
registered. All three players, however, are homegrown and could play a key in our European squad, which I'll get onto in just a second. There is arguments that we will have to register two of those in European football, but you don't have to register the same players in European football as in the Premier League. So David Moyes could have a bit of a dilemma. So as it stands, that's the Premier League squad. You've got to consider those three as well. And if you register all three, that leaves just one space in the Premier League. But we don't need to register all three. However, we might need to register two. Let me explain. Now, when it comes to the European squad requirements, there's some similarities between that and the Premier League. For example, it allowed up to a 25-man squad. Certain under 21 year olds don't have to be registered within the main squad, but can still participate in the competition. Eight homegrown players. However, there's a twist with that eight homegrown players. When it comes to the Premier League, as long as they're registered with an English FA club, happy days. But when it comes to UEFA club competitions, out of that eight, a minimum of four must have been registered at that club's academy. So you allowed four players that were with an English FA club, but not West Ham United. So for example, Mikel Antonio, Craig Dawson, Aaron Creswell, they all count towards that. But four players have to be with West Ham United for three years between the ages of 15 and 21. So that includes Declan Rice, Ben Johnson, and that's it. Now, this is why there's a little bit of a dilemma for David Moyes with Longello, Coventry and Trot. Because obviously Moyes can register two of those in the European squad to make up the numbers. Now, you don't have to have four players that have been with West Ham for, during those ages and meeting that causes. But what it does mean, you lose a space. So West Ham, in theory, registered Johnson, Rice and Coventry. But loaned out or sold Longello and Trot. So we only had three. That extra one we're missing means that West Ham can only register 24 players in the European squad. So there's a bit of a dilemma here for David Moyes in regards to deciding the future of those three players. Does he register them and then use them in European football? Or does he not register them but sacrifice a place in this squad as well? Hopefully, that makes sense. Now, just to quickly remind you, as I do in every European preview video, but we still get asked the questions, the under-21s can still participate in the European squad, providing they've been at West Ham United for two years continuously or three years with a maximum of a one-year loan spell. So the likes of Armstrong Alcoflex isn't eligible. So that's why he is registered in the main list for Thursday night's game so he can participate. So going forward, if Moyes wishes to use Armstrong Okoflex or Equat or Callum Marshall in the Europa Conference League squad, he would have to register him in the main list, otherwise they're not eligible. However, the likes of Harrison Ashby and Yamal Baptiste and Dan Chesters, they can play in the European competition without being on the main registration just to make it a bit more complicated for you. So to summarize, West Ham United currently have 20 senior players that have to be registered to participate in the Premier League. 21 if we sign Tilo Kerr. David Moyes needs to decide on those three youngsters. And let's just assume he chooses to keep around two of them to make up the quota for the European competition. That would give David Moyes a squad size of 23 players, making it just two vacancies for the summer transfer window. Now, I'm going to end with a little bit of an opinion. I know I said I was going to keep it factual. That's all been factual. This bit's an opinion. I wouldn't be surprised to see David Moyes do just that. Register Coventry and one of Longello or Trot. It's possible that we register both of them and try and sell Darren Randall because that way Trot takes his place in the senior squad. We're still hitting the quotas and in European competition, we're hitting that quota for the West Ham trained players as well. But my opinion piece is this, that I think David Moyes will register two of the three players and that we will not register near for Gwerd. Therefore, giving Moyes three spaces for the remainder of the transfer window and we may bring in a short-term loan. I'm not mentioning any names, but this is what I expect West Ham to do. Go after a short-term loan for that centre-back position so that in January, that player goes back to his parent club and we can register near for Gwerd then and he just takes the place of the low knee but he wouldn't be registered between now and the end of the calendar year so he wouldn't be able to play until the 1st of January onwards but with the club not expecting him back until after the World Cup so the first game is on Boxing Day I think that was 
I'm, I'm guessing here that is what I expect West Ham United to do. So there you go. That's where we're at just now. That's where David Moyes is at just now when taking into consideration what to do between now and and the end of the summer transfer window. Of course, West Ham United can bring in more players if they want to. Moyes could bring in five players if he wants. Just means that some of the players we mentioned either needs to be sold, loaned out, or they can stick around at West Ham and earn a wage. We just can't use them in the Premier League. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. Subscribe to your channel.